Steve here from Showrooms Online and we are at Wendell's Cliff in Bishop's Cleeve by Red Row Homes. The house type we're going to take a look at is this three bedroom Ludlow house type. Without further ado, let's go and take a look around. Hello, welcome to the Ludlow house type at Wendell's Cliff. Yes. And that is in Bishop's Cleeve mm -hmm. in Gloucestershire. Um, lovely three bedroom Ludlow. First for the channel, nice to see it. Looking forward to having a look around this one. Yes, obviously um, it's Red Row Homes. Yes, Did obviously Red know? Row Homes. Yes, right. So we've got this hallway first of all, haven't we? Let's oh, just no. see how long it is compared to where you're yeah, standing. It's from here. Yes, lovely, lovely yeah, it's hallway. not bad, is it? It's nice. So in, in terms of three bedroom houses, you've got the Warwick, haven't you? Yeah. Um, and I think there's like the broad, but a few of the smaller house types. But this is semi-detached. It is. So let's have a look what sort of room this house has got. There's your downstairs WC. So this is not bad, the corner sink there going on, got the uh, WC, got a little window, alarm and RCD box in the, in the WC where it should be. Okay, lovely. Right, lounge. Yeah, so the lounge is at the front. Nice big window, typical big red row window. Dimensions, 4 metres 84 by 3 metres 29. Very nice. Very generous size lounge, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Love the ceiling to floor curtain. Beautiful. Nice light fitting as well. Got very high ceilings, don't you, with the red row house? They're very generous, yeah. I'm going to try, try and point out the quirks to heritage. Understairs cupboard with your socket there for your, so as I was I'm going to call it a modem but uh -huh. it's a router isn't it? So as I was um, saying we're trying to sort of knuckle down onto some of the red row quirks so the front door, the, the type of front door you get is very quirky isn't it? That kind of look about it with the um, diamond window there. Well red row houses particularly the heritage collection are a very traditional looking yeah. range of house. So on the outside, but on the inside, yes, you've still got the traditional feel in terms of the decor, but actually they're quite modern, aren't they? Yeah. They're very modern in terms of what goes into them. Such as the radiator. Kind of radiator. Yes, right. And also here, you've got your utility cupboard. So that's behind the door. And there's plug there, so meaning you could put your tumble, tumble in there. Tumble dryer on the top, yeah. Washing machine below, tumble dryer below. So, and then you've got a fully fitted kitchen here in a U shape, which goes all the way around. So let's have a look what's in it. Oh, so they've not got a dishwasher, but I'm presuming it could go there if you've got one. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of cupboards that are the right size. Lovely bank of drawers here underneath the hub. So you've got four burners. But that works well, the difference in the colour. Um, in that bank yeah. there. Nice two-tone kitchen. It's a different type of kitchen to the one in the show home next door yeah. as well. Much more of a high gloss modern yeah. finish. Got all your switches there and you've got a yeah. blanking plate just in case you want to upgrade anything. But actually the kitchen, the choice of doors anyway, is a very individual thing isn't it? Yeah. And it depends on what you choose. Same with the flooring and what you might choose as an upgrade. So in here you've got your fridge and freezer, you've got your microwave and your oven and grill. Pull out 
larder. So plenty of storage space yeah. overall. And they've got a dining table here in the middle, which actually I think extends. That's a lovely piece of furniture. I like that a lot. Oh, and they've even changed the date. Because today is Valentine's Day, isn't it? Yep, it's Valentine's Day today. So, let's take a look upstairs. Okay, upstairs in the lovely. Okay, right, we'll start at the rear then, so that's bedroom three. Let's so we've, we've, got s we've got some quirky shapes going on in the roof now. So look at that, I love that. Characterful, yeah. I think you'd call it. I don't it? even think uh, whether they're actually the way the roof is or they've <laughs> you know, done that deliberately. Very nice. Right, bedroom three. Two metres sixty-four by two metres sixty-two. So you've got a window, with, as I said, you've seen the window on the landing and the stairs coming up. Next you've got bedroom two. So a good size double bedroom. Four metres twenty-five by three metres thirty-two. Again, we've got the detailing in the ceiling there. It does look really nice, that is. Got a wardrobe just behind the door there, discreetly hidden away. Oh, I didn't see it. So, there's your boiler there. It's quite a large cupboard, that. Yeah. With the uh, flue. The flue there that picks, goes up through the roof. You've got your main bathroom there at the front. So this is over the, the downstairs cloakroom, isn't it, in your front door. Dimensions, just over the 2 metres by 1 metre 71. Mm, very nice. Lovely. And then, last but not least, bedroom 1. So, dimensions, 4 metres 13, 3 metres 31. So, what they do in here, is you've got wardrobes there, built in behind the door and wardrobes here. They may be an upgrade, so you have to ask what's within your package. Look at the roof, the detail again. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? But you've got some tremendous ceiling height where you are, and then it just slopes down yeah. gradually. Yeah, I here. was wondering how that, that, that gable would work on it. Yeah. It's so nice. Very it's almost nice. got a hip on the roof. Very nice. It's a good-sized double bedroom, isn't it? And it's got its own ensuite. You could fit a bigger bed in if you wanted one. So the ensuite, you've got almost quite a, a good sized shower cubicle there, um, looking like the uh, water runs off the boiler there, the shower, ideal standard sanitary wear. So there's a bit of a mix in the sanitary wear on this particular development, but you've got that lovely um, unit there to uh, put your bits and bobs in, WC and a very sort of short uh, towel rail there, very nice indeed. A very, very nice house. Yeah. I think this fits in quite nicely. If you want, if the if the Warwick is a little bit too big for you, the, this 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 is perfect. This well, little the Warwick Ludlow. is a detached, isn't it? And Lud the name Ludlow is from the county that we live in, Shropshire. Shropshire, yes, lovely. Well, that's it. I'll put all the information in the in the description box down below. So check that out, along with uh, a link back to web, uh, Red Rose website, so that you can contact them about coming to visit yourself and about availability and prices, etc. So that you've got the most current information um, but we will catch you on our next video so thank you for watching thanks for watching